YouTube. Some people watch videos, some people make videos for fun. Some people make videos as a career. In any case, YouTube has been at the centre of the internet ever since its launch in late 2005. And today, it ranks as the world's third most visited site behind only by Facebook and Google themselves. To celebrate the success of this incredible platform, we count 10 amazing facts about YouTube. Today, YouTube has over 1 billion users, with over 300 hours of video content being uploaded to YouTube every single minute, which adds up to 432,000 hours a day. That means 18,000 people would need to dedicate their entire lives to watching YouTube videos 24 hours a day to make sure all of the content is watched. And that doesn't count for the thousands of years of footage that already exists. YouTube was originally intended to be a video version of an online dating service, and apparently it was influenced by the website Hot or Not, where you vote for the hottest people, and if you both rate each other hot, you'll be connected, so you can chat and, I assume, engage in coitus. Bazinga. In its early attempts to popularise the site, YouTube offered $100 to attractive girls who posted 10 or more videos. Surprisingly, the founders didn't receive a single reply to this offer, which was posted on Craigslist. The first video ever posted to the website was titled Me at the Zoo, which shows co-founder Jawad Karim at the San Diego Zoo casually talking about elephants and how cool their trunks are. The video was uploaded on April 23rd, 2005 and can still be viewed on the site right now, with over 18 million views to date. Several companies have sued YouTube because they believe YouTube hasn't done enough to prevent copyright infringement. In 2008, Viacom, which owns MTV, VH1, Comedy Central and Nickelodeon, won a court ruling that required YouTube to hand over 12 terabytes of data relating to user information and users' viewing habits. Essentially, they wanted to find out if users were watching copyrighted material on YouTube, and if so, they could potentially take legal action against these users. All your base are belong to us. Of course, this made absolutely no sense because a user cannot possibly know what exactly they will be watching before clicking on the link. And even if they can, it's not the responsibility of the user to know what content is copyrighted or not. Thankfully, in 2010, Viacom's $1 billion lawsuit was rejected under the Digital Millennium Copyright Act. While the case was reinstated in 2012, in 2013, YouTube defeated Viacom once again under the safe harbour provisions of the DMCA. If YouTube's entire user base were turned into a country, it would be the third largest country by population in the world, behind by only China and India. Its population would be larger than all of the countries in Europe combined. And depending on how much YouTube has grown since they last released statistics, its population could be larger than all of Africa. In 2006, YouTube was acquired by Google for $1.65 billion. At the time of its acquisition, YouTube was hemorrhaging money at a rate of half a million dollars per month. However, Google saw YouTube's immense advertising potential and has since then turned YouTube into a global success and today nearly one out of every two internet users are on YouTube. YouTube is the world's most popular video sharing site, no questions there. But more than that, YouTube is also the world's second largest search engine, with only Google in front. In fact, it's larger than Bing, Yahoo, and Ask, and AOL combined. The most viewed video on YouTube has always been a highly coveted spot, and one that hasn't changed as many times as some may think. The first and one of the best known viral videos from the early days of YouTube is the Evolution of Dance uploaded on April 6, 2006. It held the record for most viewed video until mid-2008 when Avril Lavigne's Girlfriend music video took the number one spot. Since then it's been mostly dominated by various music videos apart from a few exceptions like Charlie Bit My Finger. 
But in July 2012, Psy released his Gangnam Style music video which took YouTube by storm. It was the first YouTube video to surpass 1 billion views and as of today has over 2.2 billion views, meaning if the views were unique, nearly 30% of the Earth's population would have seen the video. YouTube likes to play a prank on us every now and again. Since 2008, they've been putting various tricks on their users on the 1st of April as part of April Fools. In 2008, they changed all of the links of the videos on the main page to redirect to the popular music video Never Gonna Give You Up by Rick Astley, a prank that's become well known on the internet as Rick Rolling. In 2009, whenever you clicked on a video on the main page, the entire page would turn upside down, which YouTube claimed was part of their their new layout. In 2012, clicking on the image of a DVD next to the site logo led to a video about the YouTube collection, an option to order every single YouTube video for home delivery on DVD, video cassette, Laserdisc or Betamax tapes. Yes, you heard that right, Betamax tapes. YouTube was initially started in Chad Hurley's garage. In 2006, they were able to move to an office space above a pizza place in California where they hired YouTube's first employees, around 20 people. Hurley was chief executive officer and Chen was made chief of technology officer. Karim acted as an advisor. Karim would soon leave for a graduate program in computer science at Stanford University. Bonus statistics round. Every day people watch hundreds of millions of hours of YouTube and generate billions of views. The number of hours people are watching on YouTube each month is up 50% year on year. 60% of a creator's views come from outside their home country. YouTube is localized in 75 countries and available in 61 languages. Half of YouTube views are on mobile devices. Mobile revenue on YouTube is up over 100% year on year. On average, there are more than 400 tweets per minute containing a YouTube link. <sighs> Well, I think I deserve a medal for that performance. In all seriousness though, let me know how you guys liked this video and if you did, maybe suggest what company you'd like me to do a top 10 on next as I found this really enjoyable to create.